Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpino. We're on build day number 208 today, number 208. Um, it's Monday and we're getting started um, with our general labor crew here. Um, we're expecting the subcontractors to show up today. That should be uh, including the window installers, the granite installers, and hopefully the spandrels, ceiling installers, the guys that are doing the, uh, uh, the eaves, the ceilings for the eaves. Um, so, um, let's walk around, see where everybody's at. Let's get started. So, starting out here on the back side, we got Mr. Ricky and Mr. Wilson are continuing with uh, sanding and priming the um, sliding gate. So we should have a good finish starting getting ready for these uh, to be painted here soon. Uh, Mr. Henry is continuing with filling and sanding um, the doors. We have a couple of doors here, uh, that one, and he's still working on the large main door. And we've got lots of dry pack ready to go. Uh, the foreman should start working in this section here today, either he or he and um, Mr. Willie um, should start working this today. Uh, right now they're starting with the uh, grout here on the back patio area. Uh, so trying to fill in some of the, the crevices and cracks, make sure the uh, all the joints are closed on the tile. Let's go ahead and walk through the house. Um, initially just right over here on the side. Um, let's go ahead and go through the master side here, uh, Mr. Um, Purdy is here working the baseboards, as is Mr. Fancy back here in the master, master bedroom. So the master bedroom and the living room are both getting worked for baseboards. And I see an air compressor and paint which tells me my lead painter, Mr. Jell, uh, will be painting all of the uh, cabinets here in the master closet uh, today. So he's doing that with an air with a airbrush style and the compressor. Use a lot less paint. Speak of the devil, there's Mr. Jell. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get out of his way. And go see what's going on in the front of the house. Hi, Miss Emmy. She's doing her rounds and inspections. Looks like we may start getting ready for some uh, tile up here in the front as well. Continuing with the um, tiling of the, the front walkway. Mr. Jojo's not here today, so I'm gonna see who's uh, who will be here. Um, looking at the toolkit, I'm assuming this is probably going to be where Mr. Willie's working. And Mr. Ramos here is gonna be helping him out. Mr. Jason that's walking around the backside will be helping out Mr. Uh, Marlin uh, in the garage. Let's go ahead and walk into the guest room sides of the house. My other two carpenters are over here. We've got Mr. Allen is uh, putting in the cornice work for the co ceilings. Oh, look at those nice joints. Wow. Good job. <laughs> it's going to be a good fit. And Mr. Alex is working on the, uh, the back of the list. So Mr. Alex is getting the, the code ceilings ready for him. And Mr. Allen's coming back and finishing up with the, uh, the cornice work. Good one two combination. Okay, our uh, foreman is starting on the garage floor tiles. Start on this side and continue back. Getting all the big easy squares first. Then they'll start working all the stuff that they have to cut after that. <clears throat> so you see they start, they got a little, good morning engineers are here on site <clears throat> um, we've got they start off with a little bit of the the they call it grout the uh, the water the cement water 
and or the liquid cement then they put the dry pack it's about an inch and a half almost two inches and then they compact it down with the um, tile pour they pull the tile back off and then pour uh, liquid cement on it again uh, as a as an adhesive for the tile <clears throat> tap it all into place and you'll notice uh, mr marlin here likes to run his fingers along the edge uh, to make sure that he uh, gets all the uh, tiles level. That's the first check. And then he has this long four foot level that he uses uh, to make sure that it's all on the same level. Um, especially difficult to do uh, with textured tiles such as these, but the, the bar level does help out quite a bit. All right, engineer brought in uh, the door frame, the door handles. So these are going to be the door handles for all of the inside. Uh, kind of basic, but um, sufficient. And also we don't have to worry about the, uh, the pop-outs for the locks making big holes in the wall. So, or making the big marks in the wall. These work out a lot better, really nice. Each one is individually keyed, although we should be able to um, work with a locksmith and see about getting them uh, all common core uh, to where they all have the same lock going through except for whichever room we want to have separate say like want to have the master bedroom on its own lock or the um, I don't know one of the other bedrooms or the office on its own lock you know that kind of thing all right so the uh, engineer came on site uh, also with him came in the um, guys for the spandrel ceiling um, we asked him about the uh, windows, uh, the window installers. Uh, he informed us that they were scheduled to do it the day that they came out, which was Friday. But since we didn't have any power, uh, they have to reschedule. So um, he said the earliest they could get back out would be Wednesday. So we end up, because of the power outage, we end up losing uh, basically three to four days of putting windows in. So we're not going to see that until Wednesday. So uh, that may be the earliest they get out here. If they get out earlier, you'll see it here first, obviously. So we got a big puzzle the other day with all the small pieces for the um, archway that goes here between the two columns. Uh, problem is, we don't have the instructions for how to put it together, so we're playing mismatch with the pieces until we can figure out which one goes where and get the, part, and get the, the angles right, because we got a lot of pieces that are got a very strong arch and some that have a very shallow arch so we got to work on these until we get it to all fit together okay so we had two pieces two pu puzzles together uh these puzzles with the really strong arches were for the door that's for the framing uh around the the uh the glass for the door and this here is the long slow arch for the in arch between the two columns. Those spandrel guys are getting started here. First thing obviously is get some uh, scaffolding up uh, since they really don't have this long of legs. Uh, so they're going to get some uh, scaffolding up uh, so they can start working. Uh, going to start and work their way around. Uh, good thing is the uh, engineer has also requested that they uh, go as they're putting the spandrel ceiling up that they go through and um, seal the bottom seams on the gutters. Uh, so we're getting the additional sealing on the bottom. Uh, right now it's all holding, so there's no real uh, con major concern, but uh, just as an extra, uh, we want an extra assurance uh, that it's not leaking. Uh, they're going to silicone the bottom joints uh, where all the uh, pieces of the gutter come together. Okay, so we've got three guys here. We've got Mr. Noel, Malvin, and oh, sorry, Milan in the white shirt, Malvin in the in the blue shirt, brothers and co-worker. Um, so they're getting started here with the uh, spandrel ceiling. Uh, the way this is working, they've got these uh, preformed metal, uh, the aluminum coat and painted aluminum. Uh, bases that they're using for the uh for the spandrel what it is is the ones on the front side of it the painted side over here these go on the outside of the um 
Sinapa, the fascia. Um, and it has a little lip that goes underneath. And this is what they're going to attach these uh, spandrels to. They call this spandrels. That's why they call it spandrel ceiling uh, for the eaves. Okay, so this is how they're going to connect it. And they drill it into the uh, fascia board or the fascia flashing that we've got up there. Pop rivets, hold it in place. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in right here. Look right there on the corner. The way this is working is the the, the hanging portion of the spandrel ceiling actually goes <coughs> underneath of the uh, fascia flashing from the top. So they're putting it underneath. That way, when the water comes down under on the side of it, everything goes outside. No no water on the inside of the building. And then they so they lift it out just a little bit. Put the um, drill the holes through it. Put in a pop rivet and are riveting it into the uh, Sanepa, or the uh, fascia board. And they're gonna work their way around with those first. All right, apparently I stand corrected. We got window guys on site today. <laughs> Morning. All right. Full crew of eight, ready to get started on windows. Okay, on the spandrel ceilings, the way they're doing the other side is they've got these small C channels that are working along. Uh, you can see those right here. So they're putting those to where they're level with the bottom side of this one here on the Snappa. And then the next thing that goes in there are the long pieces right here and that'll go from the the wall to the to the sanepa okay so with the the windows they've already know where the, all these go they've already be all, been pre-marked you can see right here this one says window living room number a so these are all going to go here up as you can see they've already got the window the, the weather stripping installed they've got pre-drilled screw holes um, to where the uh, the awning windows go in the front or on the top and then around the large frame on the outside okay We'll watch this uh, as they get started. Kind of doing an initial preset. Make sure that it, it fits before they start doing the actual installation. Just a dry fit. As with most things concrete, um, square is not always square. And the measurements that other people do to come in are not always exact. Uh, so they did an initial rough guessing, uh, rough uh, measurement. Uh, now they're using the, uh, a grinder on the edge of the window frame uh, to get it down to the correct fit so it'll just slide slide right into the window frame. Uh, so that's what he's doing and they're using the, uh, the little rubber mallets to, to help push it in place. So he does a dry fit, grinds it a little bit, does another dry fit until he gets it just right. Yeah. How's that old saying go? Try, try again until you succeed. <laughs> oh, see there? A little bit, a little bit. Galeg. Back on the uh, spandrel ceiling, they are putting up the uh, furring strips that are going to go in the corners. 
Uh, that way they, they got one that goes from here to here and then that gives them the uh, the channel that they need for all of these all right so the next step is to uh, pre-drill the pilot holes for all of the set screws uh, that they will use to secure the frames into the concrete <clears throat> That's so he's working his way around. Whoop, lost a bit there. <laughs> okay, so the first thing they're putting in is the, uh, they've got a screw with the anchor bolt already attached. Push it down in place. And screw away. Get it all nice and tight. And it draws the, uh, the whole frame down tight with the, the, the window. going to check the uh, frame make sure it's level and then he's going to draw and measure so he knows where to put the holes cap covers. What a nice, nice thing to put in. Make sure you give it that finished appearance. There. Yeah, right there. Galang. If I can make a suggestion, uh, those of you that haven't built your houses here yet, ask your engineers, your builders, to put this nosing in the windowsill. Uh, this will help even if the, you have a small leak the water's not going to get inside the house on the bottom of the window uh, Because you've got a nosing here. So the water will come up and then it'll start draining out the front uh, So what they do is they put the nosing on the front on the back of it on the inside and then Slope the the windowsill to where it drains out Just very very slightly you're talking like a millimeter or two just having a, a very small slope on the way out uh, this way you don't have to worry about if the uh, window installers don't get the sealant done right uh, that all the stuff comes on the inside so this is a this is a uh, additional measure on the back up just to make sure we don't get any uh, any leaks all right we've got the uh, first window in slides very nicely now understand this still doesn't have any hardware on it other than the sliding mechanisms on the bottom but as you can see it does have really good uh, weather stripping on both sides on the inside right here and just like that we got two windows in the frame slide on the track Let's go look at this from the inside. All right, the initial dry fit is done. As you can see, we still do have lots of uh, gap on the side here. Let's see if you can see that. Where's that? There it is. See the, the little daylight coming through? That will be silicone inside and out. And they also have hardware that they're going to attach here on the door, on the window. You can see the holes are already made for the locking mechanism. That'll connect there. Have the same thing on this side and we will have another uh, weather stripping here as well all right so we're putting in some of the uh, first small spandrel pieces starting in the corner and working our way out these are tongue and groove uh, so the way they connect 
this side's got a groove the next one comes up and just they connect it right in like that oops sorry camera's off angle there it is they connect it in right like that so the tongue and groove each one is cut to fit these are all custom put in each one is perforated so uh, it helps with the airflow from all around the inside of the uh, attic and uh, the, the crawl space between the ceiling and the uh, floor of the attic space. Okay. There it goes. And of course, not to be outdone by all the new guys on the site. Mr. Marlin, our foreman, is uh, doing a spectacular job out here in the garage as the floor tiles are starting to take shape. Oh, this is going to look great. All right, now we're moving with the ceilings. The Kisame. They call it, or the spandrel ceiling. Eaves. Now we're to the big pieces. This should be quick and easy. We just cut it down to size, snap tight together. Put it in, push it together, snap fit. Awesome. We're going to get rolling now. All right, so this is a uh, look at the completed window. Um, in the frame, in the window. They still have a little bit with uh, some small hardware, but overall, this is what it's going to look like. Nice dark gray tint is what they went with um, to match the roof color as well. Um, yeah. Um, there's already a considerable difference when you look at it from the inside. Let's go look at the inside. And like I said, considerable difference. Just uh, temperature, shade. Man, that's going to really, uh, really help a lot on this side. Actually, if you look up, you can even see right here. It's upside down and backwards, but you can read it there. It says dark gray. Made in Thailand. So the glass is made in Thailand, the, or the uh, tent is. Everything else is uh, made to order here in the Philippines. So this is a good quality product. Let me go show you the one in the master bedroom. It's a little further along. All right, so this is the first completed window. Um, sealed on the inside and the out. Uh, he's getting ready to go seal the outside right now. Um, got locks inside the window and they're going to put additional locks on the inside of the window so both sides are sliding and it will have a screen that goes back and forth Stay there and see if I can see you. nice okay so she's gonna come look and see how, how easily it is to see inside with just a dark gray tint and you see right here dark gray and our good guys from premier windows doing an excellent job on the window installation and from the outside miss emmy could be standing on the inside waving and shooting me the bird i'd never know the difference uh, this is just a nice dark gray uh, highly reflective quality cannot see the inside um, but I know at night you're still going to be able to see inside because it's going to be obviously light versus the outside being dark, but this looks great. And we've got it sealed all the way around, uh, drain holes so that the water that goes here in the tracks has a way to exit. All right. looks great. All right. Now we're moving along. The, uh, back windows are in for the master suite starting to work on the large picture windows with awnings at the top and the windows and door for the breakfast nook to the patio uh, we've got frames in 
most of the windows already. This is for the uh, kitchen. So that'll be a double sliding door window here. Awning windows into the uh, utility room. Take a look around. Still working on the ones for the bathroom and the bedroom in the garage area. Mr. Foreman is moving along quickly on the floor tile for the garage. Very nice. Ah, these two are going opposite directions and going to end up meeting in the middle on the other side, I think. He's going this direction. Mr. Milan is going that direction. Alright, so here, man, we've got a flurry of activity, doors, windows, and the uh, box being created for our archway here. This is what Mr. Allen and Mr. Alex are working on. Fabricating it first out of, uh, this is all marine plywood. And then on top of that goes all of the uh, sashes that were made with the uh, moldings that will form the bottom edge of it. These guys are getting ready to attach the uh, awning windows. They've already got the tracks already built in. When they get here, all they got to do is uh, screw the windows in place in the uh, pre-drilled holes. fit for the uh, for the archway. Mr. Alex and Mr. Uh, Allen are manhandling this thing. We got to pull out the uh, planer here. Do a little wood shaving on the end. Just enough to get it to fit over that um, spot right up here. Just a little bit. Now let's do the same thing on the other end. So these couple of windows came without the actual glass in the window. Uh, so they got it in place first. Now they're putting the glass in. So lift it in place. <clears throat> these are already pre-cut. <clears throat> there you go. Then they put the strips in the middle. <clears throat> They're all numbered so they know exactly where they go. And this squeezes the uh, glass into place against the other side of the frame. <clears throat> Keeps it from moving up, down, left, right. So it kind of seals it in place.
All right, guys, it's yabba dabba do time. Do y'all see what's behind me? We've got windows in every single opening. All the windows are in, um, but they're not complete yet. Uh, we still have some um, pieces, parts, locking mechanisms, you know, the sort uh, that still have to get put in. So they'll be back uh, as soon as their scheduler gets them out here. Um, in addition to that, we also have the guys working the spandrel ceiling. Uh, let me go show you that over here on the side of the house. There they are. See, they're uh, working their way around the building, starting to work on that. So lots of busy and lots of progress done today. I love Mondays like this. It just puts the whole week into motion. You're just like, let's go, let's go. So <laughs> we'll see what tomorrow looks like. Hopefully there's not a big drawback on the reins and we can just uh, keep on keeping on. So if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless.